Hello everyone, Sama2009 Bora here, and welcome to part one of my Let's Play Camping Manager 2012 series. Um, this Let's Play is probably not going to be too long, maybe 10 15 videos in length. Um, it's not everybody's cup of tea, I just found this a fun little game to play. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and like pick us all we're going to do basically. I'm not going to play through any of the scenarios, we're just going to. Um, we're going to pick ourselves a plot of land and we're just going to build a successful camping site on it. That's all we're going to do. That, that's that's all there is to this Let's Play. There's no tutorial or anything like that. It's just going to be a basic sort of nice little free Let's Play sort of thing. So, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Um... Obviously things are moving slow. I'd like to uh, just create a file before we uh, continue. Um, let's just name our campsite. Uh, right, so we have ourselves a, um, a bit of footpath as well accidentally. But yeah, we'll just create a footpath here. Continue. Okay, I didn't ask for that, so... Okay, this is a nightmare. It's a little bit slow, I don't know why. It's probably because of Fraps recording. But yeah. So, this is just a nice little game that I enjoy playing sometimes in my free time. So we're just going to start off by building ourselves a nice little sort of path here. And down to where... Uh, we'll try and keep it as square as we can. And down to there. And we're going to put some... I really need to learn to get rid of these tools before I click on another menu. Yeah, but anyway, we're going to get ourselves a, um, a chalet. A few chalets, actually. Um, how do we rotate again? <laughs> I've forgotten how to rotate. That's a bit of a, a nuisance. It'd be some silly key. Yeah, that's our movement. Okay, that's our menu. There is a way we can rotate our um our buildings. Though I've kind of forgotten. Oh yeah, now I remember it's number nine and eight. Okay, so we've got um we can get ourselves a little some little chalets here. Um, some street lights. Always nice. Um, okay, so now we can, hopefully the, uh, the park's open. We'll drop our prices to the suggested, because we're only a one-star park. And before long, if we speed up the game, some people should start to arrive. We also need to employ some staff, so we'll employ ourselves a cleaner and a gardener. We're going to, uh, put ourselves a little... Um, you've got to kind of plan out how you want your campsite to be in your head before you start building it. I'm going to put a little play park in here just because I think it's 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 nice to have um, a little play area being a being a campsite. Um, so we'll stick some sand down here. So it's nice to put some sand down in areas where you're going to build something like this. Just gives the park a little bit more of a nicer feel to it. Okay, so now we've got some sand down, we can 
place ourselves a child's rocker and a slide and um, the seesaw here and a swing in this corner we'll have another rocker here another one here and finally we can have a trampoline in this corner here so we have ourselves a nice little uh, a nice little play park and it's the start of our campsite um, we haven't actually got any people here not place accommodation facilities in it okay well it is a play park so so our lights are coming on we also should put in some street lights here and here and one in this corner would be good Um, bench is always a, a good idea for a for a play park. So we'll have a couple of them. It's always good to have benches, it's just um, around play parks obviously for the adults to sit while the, uh, the children play on the uh, swings and slides and stuff that we've built. So now I want to put a flower pot in the corner. Some beautification. A couple of dust bins would be good. Um keep the back tidy. Um, now we want to um, now I actually we, we, what we best do is build some sanitation facilities over here so um, first thing we best off doing is putting in a water tap because this is actually essential this is where people get their water from and also here we are going to put in our we're going to put in a path up this way and a path up this way and we're going to uh, put in some more sanitation facilities And that's uh, actually attracted some people by... Has it attracted some people to our campsite? I can't... Uh, hold on. No, it hasn't attracted people to our campsite. Okay, well, there's something wrong then. Our campsite should be open. Yeah. 
get the leisure activities up. I'm surprised people actually haven't uh, come to stay in our campsite yet. Maybe it's because we um, haven't put the sanitation facilities in properly. So we're putting some showers on this side. And some sinks. They're different from wash basins. You must know that if you play this game. But sinks are different from wash basins. They're a lot bigger. They're a lot bigger. And we have some thunder. in the um, in the corner that thunder's really annoying it can be a shock and we're gonna of course put in some I'm getting rid of that bush and um, yeah And we actually do have some people visiting our campsite now, so we have our first our first guests, which is um, pretty nice. And they'll be pretty happy about this. And our campsite's actually up to two stars as well, which means that we'll be able to at some point soon put the price up. But for now, I'm going to leave it. Um, I'm going to put in some hedges around. Well, actually, I want to define the border more clearly, so I'm going to put in... A little tree on this corner. Actually, no, I'll take that back out. Don't know why it's taking its time for taking things out. But anyway, guys, I think I'm going to conclude part one there. So, um, yeah, so I'm just going to save it, obviously. And, um, yeah, and thanks for watching, and um, join me over in part two.